Hi guys, it's me again. Yeah, it's like same as last year and all. I'm going to be going through Star Wars essentially. As yeah, may the fourth be with you. As yeah. As I watched the first episode of the new animated series of Bad Batch, by the Bad Batch, as yeah, it starts with the <laughs> starts with Beeper Palava and J Caleb Dune, now known as I. It would like to be known as Ken Jarrus in Star Wars Rebels. And it's like I can, and it's like I can kind of understand why Kanan was going. Like Kanan was little scared of. Clones and all as yeah, it didn't all that Crosshair went after him. As yeah, it's for like as yeah, it's for like it didn't exactly go to much into detail on the relationship between Kanan and his relationships with all the clones and all that. But yeah, it's like as such and all that. It's like as yeah, it's like I'll be calling Kane and Jarus and like Caleb Doom Kane and Jarus for the rest of it as yeah, it's like he is known as that for a lot of it and it's like I will be trying these. Like candy kittens and all that. Like I did it weeks back when I tried the Eat and Mess one and as they released a new flavour. Very cherry. I swear like I got it like a week or two ago, but it's like I've been waiting for it till now. As yeah. It's like it could be either amazing or not so nice. But yeah, to be fair, like I do tend to like cherry and all that. As yeah, it's like it's kinda of, does have kinda of like that strong cherry <laughs> smell to it. As yeah, so I could kind of like how they came, came in behind like the rock and all that and like pushing the tank like pushing like all the tanks together and then pushing one down like the closest to it down the cliff so the rest of them would go so I kind of like that Yeah, so I could do do like it. So I there is like a lot of cherry to it. It's not quite as like sour as like thingy. So like cause I get like very like very 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 me very me rewards and all that. So like, which is how I'm guessing all that. I gave you like kind of like had one with like. Red very cherry in it as it's like yeah new and then like gave you feel as like sour watermelon as yeah it's like tropical mango and wild strawberry and all with all of which I like and yeah it's like and then as yeah it's like one thing I kind of found cute and all was the fact that Kanan was wanting to go with Clone Force 99 to be fair, so I, a lot of clones are like, probably like look, looking older than probably me so I, they're probably like this, in actual reality and all that it pro they're probably about the, sa like the same age as Kanan was So yes, but like I I 
and it is like but as it like it was kind of going it's like he wants it like on a six to six came so i can it, like clone force 99 was like initially kind of didn't but it's like it came through on crosshair as yeah it's like it was kind of lucky for Kanan later to say that Hunter was there to kind of like stop like Hunter was there to stop Crosshair from actually killing him so it's like they were kind of do terrified like when you're seeing like your mass like mass of death of a lava and all that being like killed by like clones that may have fought alongside you for potentially a couple of years by that point possibly speaking and yeah it's like that was kind of like where the betrayal started and all that is you know to be fair like pro up until then it's like probably wouldn't have been questioning as such but it's been like it probably started with him questioning all the 66 a little bit as yeah so i did go back to camino and then And discuss like all the six or six and all that as yeah, it's like probably came up with a reason why Echo didn't as he was considered like a regular and had like the inhibitor chips and all that properly function and all that. As yeah, it's like as Ted kinda of said like he was probably more machine than man by that point after what like finding him on Skako Minor at the end of like start of season seven of the Clone Wars. As yeah. As yeah, you kinda of get the feeling that it was a little uneasy for them. And it's like kinda of where the betrayal started and all that for them. Like crosshair and all that. And then yeah, it's like uh four of the five I feel like four of the five that clones in like Clone Force 99 like did question like the wording of like pa Palpatine like formerly Chancellor Palpatine now Emperor Palpatine as it's like yeah it's like they like all the lives have kind of been Made to kind of be loyal to the Republic and to them. And it's a little like. They. Yeah, it's like for suddenly. And suddenly it just goes to the Empire to do question it a little bit. <coughs> and yeah, it's like they kind of meet Omega as well. And then. As yeah, she's very curious. As you see by the end of it, it's like she's curious about like, like everyone and all. It's like yeah, she's as we do find out like she is defect kinda like defective in the loosest possible terms, like she's different to the regulars, regular clones. As yeah, she is defiantly a female and yeah, having never really left Camino. Like all the city and all that, like Tapioca City or something like that. As yeah, it's like is a medical assistant with to Nalase. As yeah, it's like as Lamasu does talk to Admiral Ta Admiral Tarkin. Kind of like I was trying hard not to say Grand Admiral Tarkin. As yeah, it's like he ain't, he ain't that. 
There's yes, yeah, like she is. Yes, yeah, like they do take pride, like the do the Cameronians do take pride in their work. And yes, yeah, like it is a little tense in the canteen and all as kind of like the regulars kind of know that maybe she's diff like more unique than the rest of them like the Clone Force 99 and like Tarkin watches them fight and all but yeah it's like an Echo kind of recognises him like having previously tried to rescue him from the Citadel like a while back from where he supposedly died it is like yes like it did slowly wheel like wheel around like say like one of their own did Ross Allen say like only like crosshair kind of like maybe known had known that Hunter didn't kill Kaden and yeah so like I think they kind of found out that I think he told like now they're saying Lama Sue that yeah it's so like they didn't exactly have that heightened awareness to follow those orders specifically and so I kind of, kind of like the unorthodox <laughs> method of how they fought everything like the droids and all that in the simulation like once it, everything kind of went live but yeah it's so like I think he kind of Yes, yeah, so like I didn't kind of like the fact that they were like talking and all it was spying on them somewhat. Actually, I sent a probe droid after them as they went to Onderon to get rid of Saw Guerrera and why she would like to become like the partisans and all that. So like if not the past ones like going away to become like part of like the rebellion and all. It's so like want to save the resistance not as yeah. <laughs> as a Todd may suggest. <laughs> it's like a little later and all. As, it, as yeah, it's like there that Tech figures out what that Omega was like a little like them. In the not like kind of like a not so literal sense, like yeah, it's like they maybe a little more like yeah. They but for them it's like they're all still male and yeah, you know, but it's like she's a female and. I have no idea what happened there. It's like whether they like, more made it kind of like genetically modified her a little more. And yeah, it's like kind of went to Omega looking through like the barracks and all that with like the medical, like a droid. So like, I kind of wanted to say like it was the same medical droid that I went after, I went with fives and all that it's like me but to be honest I can't even remember what happened to that one so I probably yeah, so I have a feeling you 